Hello, Paula Thomas from Gapy's Grub here. And if you haven't seen the latest Discover Mirrorless Hangout video, they talked about RAW versus JPEG, why you would choose each one, or why you wouldn't. So I thought today I would take the time to tell you what my view is and what I shoot. So for the past six years probably I've been shooting RAW, and the reason for that is because you have the most control over your pictures. So there's a lot more information stored in RAW files, so you don't really have to get it right in camera. So you can totally mess up the white balance and in Photoshop or in Lightroom you could just fix it really easily. So that was my main reason for shooting RAW and it's worked pre pretty well for me over the years. So now that's changed a little bit. So I recently got a iFi card and if you're not familiar with those it allows you to use your camera and shoot pictures to this iFi card which is basically an SD card and then it automatically sends that information over to a computer or your phone. So I got that and I was playing around with it and obviously you, you probably don't want to use raw files when you're doing that. So I was shooting in JPEG for that reason and actually I was shooting in raw plus JPEG because I still wanted to have those raw files so the RAW files um, I would save for my computer for processing and the JPEGs would be sent to my phone. So I, I don't use it a whole lot, but I, I just used it long enough to try it out. So then uh, later when I was pulling my pictures into my computer, I was doing a kind of a comparison between the RAW and the JPEG files and I noticed, hey, the JPEGs actually look pretty good. And I noticed I didn't, you know, half the time I decided to just process the JPEG files because the, the color looked better, the, you know, better contrast. It just overall was a better looking picture. So then, so that's kind of what made me switch over to using JPEG. So now probably 90% of the time I shoot only JPEG and don't even bother with the raw files. Now if I'm doing a page shoot or something like that, then yeah, I'll probably do raw plus JPEG just in case I, you know, mess up the white balance or do you know do something that needs fixing. Um, but I'd, I'd probably end up just processing the JPEG files um, and not using the raw. But it's just kind of a a backup just in case, you know, since I'm getting paid for it. So that's that's kind of what I'm I'm doing now. I'm really enjoying the JPEG and it's working for me. Thanks for watching. Check out Discover Mirrorless for more vlog posts from me and other hybrid heroes.